Hello students, welcome in our school. Today I am going to chapter 2, Inverse Trigonometric Functions, Part 6. Yes students, in the Part 6, the left numerical today I explain you. Chapter 2, Exercise 2, Question number 9. Up to 8 question already I explained in the Part 5. So now let's start, Question number 9. Ten inverse root x is equal to half cos inverse 1 minus x, 1 plus x. Students, this numerical for 3 marks. IMP for example. So this is what I start by sum. Suppose n inverse root x is equal to y either theta and c y. So what is the root x? Tan theta. So x is equal to tan square theta. Where theta belongs to the range of tan inverse function minus 90 to 90 in the open bracket. So now I start my ARHS half cos inverse 1 minus x 1 plus x and this x value tan square theta putting inside. So we have 1 minus tan square 1 plus tan square. Finally, this formula students in no value is how much? Yes, cos 2 theta. Now, 2 theta range checking in this interval. So, my interval, this taking statement 1, this interval I utilize from given x belongs to 0 to 1 it means 0 less than x less than 1 this x put it there according to data 0 and square theta less than or equal to 1 taking square tan theta between 0 to 1 now students find out the degree. At which degree? Tan is 1 and 0. Yes, 0 and 45. Now, I want 2 theta. So multiply here. Each term 0, 2 theta and here pi by 2. Now students check this interval. Belong the range of cos inverse. Yes, definitely. What is the cos inverse range? 0 to 5. But my range? 0 to 5 by 2. Indirectly, 2 theta belongs to 0 to 5 by 2. Also belongs to 0 to 5 between us. That's why first equation I just show out from 1 half cos equals cos 2 theta. It is only 2 theta. 2 to 1 only theta. So just check out this theta value already you assume. So over some that's my LHS. And that's the final finish out. And check this total cover of two numericals for three months. Now students, I am going to question number 10. This numerical is very very most timely for final exam level. Many time asking in exam this numerical. 
for five marks also, either three marks. See the question. Quad inverse. In under one plus sine is given two times and one minus sine is given two times. An answer obtain x by two. In the condition x belongs to zero to pi by two. First of all, students, I only explain you. First data under one plus sine. Then after I explain only under root one minus sine. So anyhow you create inside making perfect square. Then root is removed. So can I write in one place sine square x by two plus cos square x by two? This only one student sir. And sine x is equal to two sine x by two. Cos x by two is my formula. Trigonometric formula. Now it is perfect square. Sine x by two. Cos x by two whole square. And between plus given, definitely it is positive. So I just remove here root and square. Other way as it is statement one. It's a very simple solution. Now look at that. Second case. This not easy. Second case I just derive similarly. Sine square x by two. Cos square x by two minus. This integral students only one. Here two sine x by two. Cos x by two as it is. Now, so let's think out. Here you get a perfect square between plus. But now here, what is the perfect square? Sine x by two minus cos x by two. Either cos x by two minus sine x by two. So there are two options. How can we derive which are the true? So I go to here data conditions. No doubt it is a perfect square. But we are missing sine minus cos or cos minus sine. So before I judge, I go to condition. X belongs to zero to pi by two. Students, these steps are left at first time condition checking. After that, decide this step because it is between minus zero. If you plus that, I will write no issue. So zero to x to pi by four and Zero to x to pi by four. I write two times because one time for sine, one time for cos x by two. So here you divide by two. Here divide by two. X by two. X by two. Surely it is pi by eight. Next, similarly here also pi by eight. Now students, I want to sine x by two cos. So just apply here sine x by two. So sine term apply in each term. It is sine zero, sine x by two, and sine pi by eight. So similarly, I go to cos x by two. Yes, now students, I think so here. One mistake in your question. Not a pi by four. Actually, it is a pi by two. So I just rewrite again here pi by two. Here also pi by two. Textbook mistake, huh? So here pi by four definitely. Same as here pi by four. And here it is sine zero, sine sine forty five. Now sine zero zero. Sine x by two. What is sine forty five? One by two. Similarly, students, if you apply the cos function, but cos is decreasing. Inequality change or zero inequality change cos pi by four. What is cos zero? One. Cos forty five. One by two. Rearrange. Definitely. Check you what is the highest term. Yes, zero to one by two is sine, and it is one by two to one. It is cos is highest. So can I tell me? Cos x by two is greater than sine x by two. 
So, this cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 greater than 0. This principle I can simply like here. That's why here I write down cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 whole square is at 2. You cannot say here sin minus cos whole square. Because what is the highest? Cos x by 2. So one more time if you students in the textbook here printed 0 to pi by 4. It is wrong. You just rewrite 0 to pi by 2. And then after apply the conditions. While checking the positive because every square root is always positive. In negative values in the square root, they are not converting in the range of cos and sin. It is a complex number. That's why I must be checked they are positive or not. After that, you write down this text RMPD cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2, statement number 2. It means students, here first step, statement number 1. Over. And here second step, statement 2 over. Now I start my actual sum LHS. Yes, students, I just write down our LHS. This is your LHS. Already I written. And putting their values. See, 1 plus sin x value already equation 1 I done. Sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 plus this way cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 similarly here yeah. same as you printed minus cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 now students our almost numerical done only simplify interval case you put it your answer but main important, this condition must be checked up. Don't worry students, this numerical same I again explain you by the different condition. After that, this numerical. So, what are you getting here? Sin and sin cutting. It is 2 cos x by 2. Same here cos cos cutting. 2 sin x by 2. And what do you get? Yes, it is cos x by 2. And already you check what is the x by 2 range? 0 to 45. It means here. Yeah. 0 to 45. And you get it. What is the range of what it was? 0 to 5. Definitely it's belong the range. So we have done x by 2. And we have over that our RHS. Conditions change 0 to 5 by 2. Then this answer gives you. Same numerical in exam asking just condition different. So I only explain to students different condition wise. Numerical same, just this change 0 to 5 by 2. Sometimes given x belongs to pi by 2 to pi. Question same, condition different. So answer change. So step 1 and step 2. According to condition wise, you just follow these steps. Pi by 2 to pi. So students, I just apply first x by 2. Pi by 2. x by 2. Pi by 2. Similarly, here pi by 4. x by 2. Pi by 2. You know students, why I explain this again? Because in exam, this question also asking. LH is same, but this condition change. So this answer change. I just only explain the condition students. Apply the sign. Pi by 2. Sin x by 2. Sin 90. You know sin pi by 4? 45. 1 by 2. Sin x by 2 same. And sin 90. 1. Here check sin range 1 by 2 to 1. Pause apply. Inequality change definitely. You know students, why inequality change? Because cos is a decreasing function and decreasing function then inequality change. Now cos 45. 1 by 2. What is cos 90? 0. 
So 0 to cos x by 2 to 1 by 2. Students, you check now. What is the highest? Yes, this time highest is the sin x by 2. So, I just follow my steps. Sin x by 2 is higher than cos x by 2. So, sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 greater than 0. So students, the equation number 2, this value I change here. So what is your cost equation? 1 by 1 plus sin x is the same as sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2. Here nothing change. But these are change. 1 minus sin x. This value is a 1 minus sin x. So it is a perfect square for which term? Yes, sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 whole square. So, I answer is finally sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 statement only. So, method one is to declare state point step to students. Now, I go to LHS. These are the same steps. Only here change. Look at that. My answer is here sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2. Same as here change. Only sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2. Definitely, your answer is more different from each other. See, I just calculate the further steps. What are you getting? After that cutting, here cutting is a now cos cos. Here 2 times sin x by 2. Same here, sin sin 1, 2 cos x by 2. What do you get? Yes, it is tan x by 2. Only major difference coming from this condition wise. Okay, now x by 2 but outside what function instead of 10. So I just write down what 90 minus angle. This answer is my correct 90 minus x by 2. These are extra sum. What is changing guys students? Only condition change. If you condition different given, just like 5 to 3 by 2, then again answer change here. Again condition change. If you 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi, again condition change. Always you find out what is the highest minus lowest. Clear? And this answer is changing. So this is your extra question related to your question number 10. One more two extra question I just get changing six students. X belongs to pi to 3 pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi. You try to mix self. These are same. So in exam, this total four different types this question asks you. So I hope you understand these conditions. Okay. Now continue. Question number 11. 10 minus under root 1 plus x and under root 1 minus x. Upon same as, students here you just create any one, one. So, we divide under root 1 plus x not equal to 0. You know why it is divided? Yes, it is converting to 10 inverse basic formula x minus y upon 1 plus x y. So, students, if I divide it, definitely I get it. Here one, that same, similarly one, that same. Now, I just given this value converting into any half in the ten function. So, we convert it into ten. Any half in this terms, I am going into ten terms. So, I just suppose. In this term, sir, x is equal to cos theta. So, what is the value for 1 minus x, 1 plus x? 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. And that I know it is 10 square theta by 2. So, your answer is modulus 10 theta by 2. Now, I check. In this range, 
is value is a positive or not? So what is the range given? Side by side, minus 1 by root 2 to 1 students. X value no cos theta, putting that. This theta I derive in the terms of theta by and then after I check the conditions. So apply the cos inverse. Inequality change students because cos is decreasing functions. Yes, inequality change. Cos is decreasing. Now cos inverse minus 1 by root 2. Pi minus pi by 2. Yes, theta. And when cos is 1 students? Yes, cos is 1 for 0 degree. So indirectly, you are getting here 3 by 2. Greater than theta, greater than 0. Now this theta is to the students, but I want theta by 2. So divide it by 2. So 0 is now equal to theta by 2. 3 by 2. You know students, 3 by 2 means how much? Pi by 8 is 22.5 into 3 is 67.5. So it is condition from here 0 to 3 by 8. This range. And I covered first word. That's why this value is a 3 theta. You declare for 10 theta by 8 is a positive. And this condition in the over students. All when we are today. Now my numerical is the 1 minus 10 theta by 2. 1 plus 10 theta by 2. After all students, this is the condition. Tan inverse 1 minus. Tan inverse 10 theta by 2. It is 45. And here theta by 2. Now done. Theta already I assume that from this. What is the theta? Cos inverse x. You tell that my answer is pi by 2. Minus cos inverse x by 2. And check. That is my RHS. But students, one more time I repeat you. Important for conditions. You know why written the modulus? Because any square root value is a plus or minus. They may be positive, they may be negative. So I am just checking the condition. Why is I check it is positive or negative? After this whole condition, I am just doing that here and choosing the value. Apply our 10 related formula 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse y upon 1 plus 10 of x plus y. And that's the final answer. Correct? Write properly. And if you students, any query for that type condition level numericals, I give already my phone number in the last of this video. You apply your WhatsApp using either calling, don't worry, I clear your doubts. Yes, similarly students, I want question number 12. 9 by 5, 8 minus 9 by 4. Sin inverse 1 third is equal to 9 by 4. Sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3. So first of all students, you just check out any values common here. Yes, it is the common available here. Yes, so in the LHS, I just take out the common here, 4 to z. Let's see. What is common? 9 by 4 common. So 90 minus sin inverse 1 third. Now students you know that our property sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. So what is the pi by 2 minus sin inverse x? Which is Cos inverse x. So, here 9 by 4 is same. Here cos inverse 1 third. And this value I translate into the sine students. That's why, right. suppose cos inverse 1 third is equal to theta. So, what is the cos theta? Yes, 1 by 3. And this 1 by 3 students, 
minus continue for the sine value. So sine theta is known under root 1 minus cos by theta. Cos I know that it is 1 by 3 square. So in direct it is 1 by 9. So it is 8 by 9. You know students, what is the 8 square? Yes, 2, 2 by 3 and this sign theta same as common. So finally, what is the theta? It is sign inverse 2 root 2 by 3 and this value and condition wise this data over. So our LH steps, I just follow that 9 by 4 cos inverse one third that when you already I suggest here students theta and what is my theta yes what's numerical sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3 and that's your RHS and have you written nothing but students see it's very right, simple process first common degree 90 minus condition applied for your property level and 90 minus converting here will be written. But my answer is the sign inverse. That's why I create theta and sign. Sometimes students here cross also will. Then this done. If you tell, then moving ahead, tan inverse, cot inverse, sag inverse, and cosec inverse. It means here. Six times answer available in this sum. Clear? Now students here prove that question over. Now I go to solving the following inverse trigonometric function. Solving means students I utilize left side as well as right side and derive value of x. That value is our solving our last answer. So first of all, this value I just write down two times. Ten minus cos x plus ten minus cos x, and that is two into cos x. So finally, so utilize your property x into y, cos into cos. It means cos square x. You know students cos square x value sure is less than or equal to 1 because cos range minus 1 to 1 taking square it is 0 to 1 because negative is not available in the square functions. So apply here in the left hand side case of a property tan was cos plus cos divide cos into cos. Right side function as it is. Now tan and tan inverse they do both sides. You get just two cos x. One minus cos square x. We are saying two cos x. So this is two and two one. Finally you go here cos x. One minus cos square is equal to sin square x and here cos x is a 1 by sin 1 sin and 1 sin 1 only I have cos by sin is equal to 1 so it is cot x it means tan x is equal to 1 and when tan is 1 yes it is 45 degree and happily easily this numerical is a so finally, my solution said x is equal to y by 4. We are happily finished. So write power. One more numerical for solving the equations. Tan minus 1 minus x 1 plus x and is equal to half tan minus x. Should I see the condition given x greater than 0? Means you create answer only in positive x. Here property of y. Then it was x minus y by 1 plus x y. 
remove the property tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. So just keep going tan inverse cos 1 minus tan inverse x. And here definitely I just show you now the same is now tan inverse when 45 degree and this term convert left to right side tan inverse x plus half tan inverse x. How much? 1 plus half. Students, it is 3 by 2. 1 plus half. Finally, this value I just forward to themselves. So, what is the tan inverse x? It is pi by 2 or say 2 by 3. And this gets 2 zap. So, my answer is only and only pi by 6. So, tan inverse x is equal to pi by 6. So, what are you getting as tan 30? And what is the tan 30? Yes, it is 1 by 3. So, finally, our solution is the final value x is equal to 1 by 3 is done here. For especially x positive. Students, if you less than coming, then you will cover the answer for negative here because already given in the question x greater than 1. We going now, students. LCM level for this MCQs. Sign of 10 for sex. Condition modulus is less than 1. Fine. What is the simplification? So students, first of all, see the conditions. My condition is a minus 1 to 1. And that condition I utilize in these solutions. First of all, this internal value, I just students explain in the terms of sign. So, suppose tan inverse x, something suggestion theta. It means x is equal to tan theta. Again, I want the outside value sign. So, internal value also sign to us. So, tan theta x converting into sign. So, x you know is a final property. Here, theta opposite. And just say, hi, what is the x? Tan theta value x by 1 opposite by adjacent. Third is the hypotenuse 1 plus x squared. So, you easily cover sign theta. Opposite by hypo x by under root 1 plus x square. And this value is a sin theta. So what is the getting theta? Sin inverse x by under root 1 plus x square. This value is a theta. So find students my value of the question sin related tan inverse x. It is sin of the theta. Tan inverse x, so I assume that theta, and what is the sign theta? x by under root 1 plus x square, and this option is done for the answer. Now, let us see, going the condition minus 1 to x to 1, it is very easy. Minus 1 to tan theta to 1. When tan theta 1? Yes, 45. 45. And this range definitely covered in the sign also. What is the range of sine inverse? Minus 90 to 90. And here, minus 45. Plus 45. Here plus and here minus. Indirectly, they belong the range in the sine inverse. That's why I enter the answer x by under 1 plus x squared. And here, directly done. Correct. Students here sometimes tan inverse is related to other functions of even just like cosec inverse x, quad inverse x, sec inverse x, any term given you suggest them going to triangle property for Pythagoras and converting to related terms and easily you get in the answer. So that time total 6 numericals may be exam asking the here tan inverse x changing by another function. 10 inverse x, 10 inverse x, that way. Okay. One more MCQ. 
sin inverse 1 minus x is equal to minus 2 sin inverse x and is equal to pi by 2 here to find the value of x. So does this are MCQ given but indirectly this will be equal for 3 marks questions. Okay. So maybe asking this will be equal for 3 marks level. Assume that here and then here and start the sum. Find the suggestion by this one. Suppose sin plus x is equal to theta. So what is the x? Sin theta. Sure you get in cos theta is under root. 1 minus sin square theta. So under root 1 minus x square. This cos theta and sin theta both will utilize in this further solutions. Therefore, we have our question that sin inverse 1 minus x minus 2. Here I assume theta is equal to pi by 2. So, only and only sin inverse 1 minus x is equal to 90 plus 2 theta. 2 theta left to right side. I just move it. So, what is the 1 minus x? Sin of 90 plus 2 theta. Now, students, just see here. 90 plus is here 90. Plus means clockwise or anti clockwise? Plus means anti clockwise. So, it is the second quadrant. Here, your 90 plus 2 theta. So, in the second quadrant, sin function is a positive. That's why here cos 2 theta I written 90 then change. Now students, this cos 2 theta formula right in terms of sin, in terms of cos, either both. So, what is the cos 2 theta? 1 minus x formula you know, purely sin also know in formula, purely cos, I return purely cos, either purely sin. 1 minus 2 sin square theta because I know the sin theta value. What is sin theta? x. So 1 minus 2, it is x square. Here also 1 minus x. See this for our functions. Only I get minus 2 x square is equal to minus x. Again minus minus 1. 2 x square is equal to x. Now students you not cancel the x value one because x is a value. Already is a question. So you never cutting x value. So possible how many values are available here? Minus x common degree 2x minus 1. Look at that. There are two answers. One of the 0, otherwise one of the half. If you cut any x, sure your answer is half only. But I getting maximum possible values. Now students wait and check this both answer are true. Sometime go true, sometime not go true, anyone true. So I go to verifications. Students here verification necessary. So that's why this numerical is a 3 marks question. So I go to first verification. Verify what? X is equal to 0. You easily understood x is equal to 0, true or not. So my LHS sin inverse 2 times sin inverse. I just put it. x will be 0 inside there. So sin inverse 1 minus 0 2 sin inverse 0. When sin is 1 definitely 9. Sin 0, 0. Check. This answer is covered for LHS. Yes. It means x is equal to 0 is true. That's my first case to valid here. Now I go to second conditions to half level. Check it. Now verification for x is equal to half. Check your options students. One of the 0 and half also given. So you cannot direct it mark the 0. Half necessary check. So our LHS. Two times sign of x. And put down x value is a half. And 
forward calculated is surely checking your answers by way to coming or not. So 1 minus half, same as your half. Now, what is the 1 minus half? It is half, 5 by 6. Same here also 5 by 6. 2 by 6. My answer is 5 minus 2 by 6. It is minus 5 by 6. Oh, this answer not covered to RHS. It means it is not equal to my value. So, x is equal to half is not a solution. It means students, you cannot think your answer is A. Your answer is only 0 is true. So, last answer, possible solution x is equal to only this two. Which one? x is equal to 0. And here your student is 3 months done. So, again I did it, this will be for 3 months. Okay, right proper. Now, one more MCQ. And students, this is the last MCQ given in your textbook, 17th MCQ. And after the 17th, our done year, last part, part 6. And this chapter also ending by this one. But don't worry, students, I prepare some assignment question paper for you specially according to last year textbook and before to before last year textbook. So I give you all assignment paper in our school. So you collect them and calculate assignment 1, assignment 2, assignment 3 wise. And if you any query in that assignment, you just WhatsApp me. I clear your doubts. Okay, students? So 70 questions I just start. 10 years. X by Y is same. Here apply the properties. So 10 years X by Y is same. And here 10 years X. Minus 10 plus y if you obtain it. So definitely first you divide x in numerator and denominator. So 10 was here 1 minus y by x by 1 plus y by x. Then dividing x to each terms. Now property apply. It is 10 plus x by y minus here 10 minus 1 next minus 10 minus y by x that means and property implies surely you can get in here some values 10 minus x by y here y by 4 but here 10 minus y by x I am sure you calculate in this way it is a wrong process why it is wrong process Because this y by x and this x by y is a no combination. It means this process is our failure students. So I apply proper method. Mostly students calculate in exam this way. Check here. What is the given first year? x by y. It means you start your sum divide by 1 equal to 0. That is the truth. One more time repeat. You never write this process. Okay? I only calculate, most students calculate that time mistakes in exam. That's why now I calculate wrong questions, now I write solutions. Divide it by So 10 was x by y same. And here 10 was here divide by so x by y minus 1, here x by y also this is. So finally, you easily create further solutions. 10 was x by y and minus here property of y. 10 inverse x by y minus 10 inverse 1 upon 1 plus 10 of x by y series. Now, check here our wrong solution and right solution. What is the difference? This and that will cancel this. Now, there are easy cancellations. And plus 10 inverse 1. Now, check this one particular. I hope you understand why I have written first of all wrong solution and my answer is a 5 by 4 you never divide by x because I want the x by y terms that's why the correct solution is this ok so one more time repeat students here our chapter 2 inverse diplomatic functions over here and 
I give you assignment 1, 2 and 3 in our school already. So you try to assignment questions wise and assignment I ask you all questions by MCQ level. But one mark question, two mark question, three mark question and four mark question. So you try to complete it respectively assignment one first, after that second and after that third. Okay, thank you very much. And next we are calculate I new chapters, derivative.